Hey, hon. Yeah. I tried calling, but the phone lines are down. Oh, I'm sure he's on the way. You know, he has been feeling a bit sick. Okay. Well, I have to leave for work in 10. So come and grab a bite to eat before you go. Okay. Just a <laughs> sec. Okay. heard Anna speaking to Klaus about possibly giving me a pay rise. I mean, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, well, if I get it, maybe we could go out for dinner together. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. <sighs> if I'd known your father was going to be this late, I would have just taken you myself. <laughs> maybe it's a sign for me to stay here. I think he'd really appreciate you going over. You haven't seen him for a couple of weeks. Too busy feeling sorry for himself. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's getting too late for me to take you. No, it's okay. I'll just walk. No, wait, why are you working today? No one else is. That's exactly why I'm working. Because nobody else will. Hey, you're looking nice today, Mum. Oh, thank you, huh? Are you uh, dressing up all the old fellas at the retirement village? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> uh. Oh, come in. Hey, Christine, I brought a paper for you. Thanks, Sam. What's he doing here? Um, he's just been giving me a hand around the place. How can you afford to be paying him? Well, Lee came into work the other day and he asked how I was going and he offered to give me a hand if I need it. So that's it then? Um, well, uh, actually, uh, we have been out to dinner a few times. What? You can't be serious. Jess, I have been trying my hardest just to keep a roof above our head. He is just trying to help me out. Help you? Are you kidding me? Jess, I cannot spend the rest of my life unhappy all because of your father. Unha I'm sorry I don't bring any happiness into your life. Jess. <sighs> Jess, I am trying my hardest for you. Things aren't easy. No, they're not easy. Hey, Christine, I brought a paper for you. Thanks, Sam. Jess, I am trying my hardest for you. Things aren't easy. No, they're not easy. anything right. What do you mean? She asked why you were here and I couldn't make eye contact with her. I'm such a coward. Hey, come on, it's my fault for putting you in that situation. I should not have walked in like that. 
She had to find out eventually. I just didn't expect her to react like that. It's just the way kids are these days. You mean well. She just doesn't realise it yet. What's this? What? What is it? Uh, this is, this is just a few kilometres from Jess's father's house. Does he know Jess is on the way? He was going to pick her up. I, I tried calling, but the phone lines... What? They were what? They were down! Hey, Dad. How you feeling? You don't look much better. Have you taken your pills today? I should probably get some light in here. Have you, um, uh, been seeing anyone recently? I got in a fight with mum before I left. I, I know I should be happy for her, but I, I guess I just got used to how everything is now. You remember when I was four and your mum got me a bunny and we only had it for a week before Landis got into its cage and killed him? And you were yelling at him and I couldn't stop crying. Mum took me aside and she said it was okay, that he didn't know any better, it was just in his nature. You know, I should probably actually call her. When was the last time you tried to call? Well, five minutes ago. Sam, what are you doing? Sam, talk to me, Sam. It's ringing through. What? I just called my place. The lines aren't down. What do you mean the lines aren't down, Sam? What about Jess? Hey, it's fine. She will be fine. I just want to make sure she's okay. And lock the door behind me. Here. Jess, you were right. Where's your father? Ah! Ah! Ah!
Are you okay? Yes. Jess, do you see that rock over there? I want you to pick it up and I want you to circle around behind him slowly. Mum, Mum, just do it! Okay. <laughs> 